Sunday. Happy Sunday, everyone. Happy Sunday. <laughs> Exercising. tell you guys how God has been so good to me I have a briefly I have a testimony when God bring people out of your life um, when God bring people out of your life do you guys know that you begin to see more and more in him and the things that people say about you or to you do you guys know that God is Are God's children you cannot touch God's children do you know you cannot continue to put your mouth on God's people do you know that you cannot put your mouth on God's people because he, 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 gave, he gave us a scripture that said touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm hold on let me block somebody hold on Okay, it's a lot of wind, but do you guys know the wind is very windy today? Do you know that you cannot continue to put your mouth on God's people? Because the Bible say, touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm. And I, I told you guys a story that somebody told me that I don't deserve to have what I have. I don't deserve to be blessed. To, and I, I've been asking God, God expose those that are around me that should not be around me. Huh? I said, God expose them. Show me who should not, who should not um, be around me today or whenever. The wind, honey, yes, wind, come through. And, um, and do you guys know that the Lord has been showing me that? When you begin, and I'm, I'm finna go somewhere. I'm finna tell y'all what I, I'm, I'm, I'm about to go somewhere. I'm finna go somewhere. I'm finna go somewhere with this. Do y'all know that? So, someone told me, I don't think you just ended the, the Holy Ghost shut my mouth up. I wanted to go off on this person. I wanted to rebuke them. I wanted, I wanted to bring up their sins. And God spoke to me right at that moment and told me to shut up. Well, today God revealed and said this to me. He said, you better not ever in your life come in contact with none of the them. And I want you to see how I move. Come on and give God some praise. Thank you, Jesus. Folks might have lied on me. Folks might have talked about me, but I am anointed. And I'm a servant. And I'm not out here lighting candles. I'm not out here doing sage, witchcraft, or none of that. I am saved. And I'm sanctified for real. Not for a title. I don't go hunt people down and talk about people in our church or none of that. Because he say, touch not my anointed. And do my prophets no harm. You better watch who you put your mouth on in God's house. You better watch what you say about God's people because this is the season that he is coming back for his people. And when he come back, he going to come back with a thief of a night. You don't want to be caught up. You want to be caught up in a rapture. You do not want to be caught up gossiping. You don't want to be caught up thieving because you got some thieves in the church. You got some liars in the church. You want to talk about houses and cause. I come tonight to this afternoon to talk to you about holiness. They are taking holiness out of church now. Churches are preaching about oh, how the Bible, they want to preach about the Bible verse. They want to preach about all of this, but living a devilish life. Kids is a living, they kids are living home.
homosexuals lifestyles. They're stealing. They're bang banging. Doing other things that's ungodly. Want to sing in the choir. Want to be a usher. But running people out of the church. You better ask God to give you anointing. Come on, say, well, 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 give me back my anointing. You don't want to be caught up in that. And I'm talking to the people who's on here. Now, the Lord told me to tell you, don't be caught up. Don't get caught up in that. You don't want to be caught up in that foolishness. You don't want to be caught up doing things that's ungodly. That's why folks don't go to church no more. Folks want to preach about something else but living a nasty lifestyle. Folks want to preach about sin, but they the main ones living a sin. Got a man in the house. The pastor got a man in the house. The pastor sleeping with the man. The wife know every God is going to hold you accountable. This is the season that God is going to open and expose people. He's going to openly rebuke his people. You cannot continue to say you love Jesus when you're lying on God's people. Everybody that go to church is not a saint. Everybody that go to church is not a church. They are going to be seen. They are going to see who they're going to come up with. Going to lie on people. Going to see what they're going to eat. Going to see how who, who see their outfit for the day. Going to stir up mess. You cannot say I got Jesus in my heart when you're cursing, living a double lifestyle, smoking weed, sitting around at the table, playing cards, drinking, getting drunk. Yeah, he said you can drink, but let me tell you something. Drink some water. That's all I was taught. Hey, 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 hey. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. How y'all know say hey, hey. Folks want to say why they speaking in tongues. Just because you can't speak in tongues don't mean I can speak in tongues. Let me tell you something. If you got the Holy Ghost deep inside of you, ask God to give you tongues. Tongues is not for a joke. Tongues, tongues is a utterance. As the Spirit of God give you utterance. You have a personal connection between you and God. You have a personal connection. Folks, pop, you pop up with a car. They want to tell you why you and somebody told me in my face. And I'm going to keep telling that testimony. Oh yeah, it's a testimony. I bought a brand new $100,000 truck. Somebody told me, I don't think you deserve that. I said, keep talking, devil. Folks, folks will smile in your face and hate you for your guts. You got to watch who you sit down and eat with. Watch who you tell your finance to. Watch telling people how you get blessed. There be some right telling people how you got blessed. And I'm saying this with no shade. I said what I said and I ain't taking it back. And if it were referring to you, contact my attorneys. Because you definitely ain't going to talk to me face to face. At all. And I, okay. You got to watch who you talk to. In church or out of church. You got to watch who you tell how you deposit your money through. You got to watch when you go to the store, because folks are always watching and, and writing down every move that you make. You better watch how you tell your, your people how you paid off your house. You be paying off your house, they'll be wishing it burned down. You better watch <laughs> who you tell who you invest with. They'll be somewhere holding a meeting against you trying to mess with your investments. And I'm, talking, I'm telling you for what I have seen. I have seen church people I, I said church people. Well, they're not church. I got to stop. We got to stop blaming the church. I have seen sinners in our church will look, will look at you and say, I can't believe you driving this. I can't believe you got this. Well, why you can't? Because God is good. The same reason why you got breath in your body. But the main ones that say, I can't believe because they're not blessed because they live in a double-minded life. They live in unholy and they not saved. I pay my tithes, people. If y'all don't get nothing from this message, you better watch who you talk to. You better watch. You better watch who say I'm praying for you. 
You better watch who's saying I love you. You better watch who's saying, oh, you my brother, you my sister. Because the mad ones are saying that, they're hurting inside of them for their guts. They hate you too, they guts. Do you understand me? Folks out here, and this is the season that God has given me to expose those that need to be exposed. I'm calling out names who need to be called out. And I don't care if you come for me. You got to know where I live and you got to be able to get in that door. Because when you get in that door, you better make sure you got you some fin arrangements. Because ain't no it's or no buts. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. And I said what I said and I ain't taking it back. But you got to watch. And I'm saying this well openly. You got to watch. I've been talking too much, y'all. I've been telling people how I make my money. Not I heard they sitting around praying that I'll be broke. You got to watch who you tell your in your investment. I don't bank her. Is this a, you got to say bank and trust. Mm. You better watch who you tell them. You better watch. Y'all had somebody in my face tell me, I don't think you deserve to be blessed. I don't think you deserve to drive a Maserati. I don't think, how, who are you? You sound like the devil. You sound like you are full of, well, you are full of sin, but you sound like you are demonic, evil force. And God spoke to me, and so many people called me that day and said, you need to stay far away from those people. That's why, that's why you have to stay far away from people. Y'all heard me? Y'all heard me? I'm getting my exercise on, I'm in my neighborhood. And I like going live. I'm loud and I'm going to continue to be loud because I pay hundreds of thousands of taxes, so I will. Anyway, um, anyway, you have to watch who you tell your business to. You got to watch who you preach to. You got to watch the word who you receive from. Those that have a word, I have noticed those that have a word deep inside of them, but they live in another lifestyle, y'all, and they in our church. They're, they're, they're running the choir. The daughters are singing. The daughters are living a lesbian lifestyle. The sons are living a homosexual lifestyle. And they are taking over the churches. Y'all hear me? Watch who you talk to. Watch who you sit down and eat dinner with. Watch who you go to lunch with. Watch who, when you pay your bills with. Uh-huh. I know they're watching me. I'm glad you are. Giving you a word, I hope, that you will change your lifestyle and you will come out from amongst them. Because this is the season I'm calling you out. I'm calling your name out. I'm, I don't care because God will protect me. You got to watch out. There are some evil voice out here. And I'm going to tell you this because this is a testimony. I got a call yesterday. She said, Brother Caldwell. I said, yes. And I asked her today, can I tell you? Know, I'm going to tell that testimony. I'm going to tell that later. But it's a word. Ooh. The Holy Ghost moved on that phone. But y'all got to watch. Watch. Folks saying, I love you, Andrew. I'm praying for you, Andrew. Oh, I hate Andrew. I don't like him. I hope he get broke. Why he driving this? Why he got on this? Why he look nice today? Why he look like that? You got to watch those people. Watch those people who saying, I love you. Watch those people who saying, I'm praying for you. Watch, watch. Because I have seen people, I've been in the room, they didn't even know I was listening. And I, you, it's good to listen. Oh, it's good to listen. You better watch those people who saying I'm praying for you. And you got to watch those people who saying I love you. I have been in the room, listen next door to people in the next room saying, how he get that? Why he so blessed? Why he even got money in his pocket? Ooh, I was over there like, ooh, you gotta watch those people. 
How you doing? You got to watch those people who saying, I love you. You got to watch those people who saying, oh, I'm so proud of you. They're not proud of you. Some of them not. Some of them are wishing that you are downfall. Some are wish that you was broke. Some wish that you was not married. Some wish you don't have a house or roof over their head so they can pray on your downfall. I have been in a room. Next, they, they sit next door and I'm thinking I'm listening. How he able to drive that? How he able to get that? Uh-uh. And I smile right in their face and say, God bless you. It's time for me to leave and never come in contact with them again. I'm telling you, I'm talking real today. Today is raw. And I don't care how you don't take it. And I dare I get some text messages after this. I'll send you to the police. Your daddy, your daddy, your mama ain't nobody. Believe me on that. I said what I said. Okay? And I'm not talking out of anger. And I'm not actually talking to nobody. But I, I don't want nobody to text me and say, was you talking about me? Absolutely not. I'm talking to you from what I'm experiencing and what I am hearing. Okay? You got to watch. Folks are, are actually praying for your downfall. But if you got the anointed on y'all life, especially the young people, y'all. The young people. Young people. You know, I don't care what comes in your family. I don't care what type of curse. I don't care how your uncle, your auntie live a double lifestyle. Homosexual is an abomination to God. Okay? If God brought me from homosexual and used me as a testimony and all these homosexuals are walking around here, do you know that he can deliver them too? But you have to want to be delivered. You have to want to be delivered from homosexual. You have to want to come out. Nobody can't make you. Nobody can't. All they can do is pray for you. And they can pray for you at that present time. But you have to make up in your mind. You have to make up in your heart. You have to believe in by faith. You have to receive the word of God. You have to have it deep inside of you and say, I no longer want to live this lifestyle no more. I'm no longer want to practice this lifestyle no more. I don't care how you, everybody say you was born in it. It's all argumental, but you, you, I said I wasn't born with it. I haven't slept with a man going on seven years. Having backslide. You have to want to come out of this. You have to want to. You have to want to. You have to want. If you want to if you want to stop stealing, you have to want to stop stealing. If you want to stop hurting people, you have to want to stop hurting people. You just don't don't stop just be stopping. If you want to love people, you have to want to love people. That's what's wrong in this world right now. We are this world is diverse. They're not loving folks. They want to say everything is um, black lives matter. No, all lives are matter. But black lives don't matter until we until we get the justice that we need. Oh, you got to want to be. Do I have anybody on here that want to come out from amongst them? You have to want to come out. I wanted to come out a homosexual. Nobody didn't make me. The church didn't pay me to make a mockery of his church. The church didn't pay me to hurt people in the church. No, I made that decision at that present time. Okay? I wanted to come out. I got tired. Andrew, I got tired. I got tired of going in bed with another man. I got tired of using my body in a lifestyle that I found out that was not in, in right in God's eyes. You, we gotta stop. I know we gotta love folks and we accepting folks right now, but they cannot be in our pulpit preaching the word of God and they're not living right. What are you preaching then? How are you preaching telling people to live right? Or you just preaching about God is gonna do this. God is, you better stop lying on God. God ain't telling you none of that mess. We can look at your flesh. We can tell, we can look at your skin. We can tell by the spirit if you are, if you is right with God. And now you can't say too much to people because everybody want to sue you. You can't tell folks they want to sue you for, um, what's that called? Um, discriminating. They want to sue you for all that mess. No, you just not going to get up in our church and, and preach the word. You just not going to get in our church and do what you want to do. 
We, we are a sanctified church. We are a holiness church. We are footsteps stomping. Talk, talk. We, are, we speak in tongues as the Spirit of God give us utterance. Folks call me a mockery. They say I make a mockery of Jesus. No, I ain't no making about You just want a platform and you just not going to get it today. You just don't like me because you just don't like me. And you don't have nothing else to say. Oh, you just don't want to support me, but that's the I care. Huh, should I know? You got folks I heard talking about they love Jesus when they out here lighting candles, worshiping Mary. We don't worship Mary, we're supposed to be worshiping Jesus. Jesus Christ. And we give God all his praise. They tell me I'm just gonna give Mary all his praise. The devil is a lie. Y'all heard what I'm saying? The devil is a liar. And I come against these fake pages because I found out some of these fake pages be my family. Some of them be my friends having fake pages trying to get back at me because they don't have my phone number. Having these fake pages trying to hurt me, thinking I'm going to respond to you. I rebuke you and I rebuke your fake page. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You ain't getting to me. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. It's Sunday. I'm about to go eat. Matter of fact, meet me at Saks because I need to go to Saks. I go to Saks today. I need to go get a couple things. That's when I'm about to go. I love y'all. And I'm going to save this video. Make sure y'all go back and listen to it. I know it was too much win, but I spoke from my heart on today. I, I'm, I, I am growing, you guys. I'm growing because God want me to grow into you guys. God gave me this platform. And nobody in hell can take it away. Not you, not animate, nobody. It's going on seven years this year. Seven years. Seven years. Huh. That's enough to shout. That's enough to pray. In seven years, I had my ups and my downs. I told God, I said, God, I don't want to work no more. I said, God, I'm tired of people hurt me. He said, stop working. Ever since I've been stopped working, I have never been in need of nothing in my life. I, it's going on two years. Two years I haven't worked. And I'm saying that openly. And I ain't going to work. God is good. Come on, everybody say I'm rich. And I will never be broke the day of my life. Come on, y'all, repeat after me. I've been saying this every day. And it came to pass. Come on and say, Lord, I am rich. And I will never be broke the day of my life. Come on and say, Lord, bless me indeed. Enlarge my territory. Make it rich and add no sorrow. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Say that every day. Look in the mirror. Hold, walk with your head up. If you want to be a millionaire, you act like a millionaire until it comes to pass. If you want to be a thousandaire, go on with that. I, I don't know what to say on that, but God is going to bless anyway. Come on, let's praise him. I love you guys. God bless you. You guys decide to sow a seed in my life. My cash app is dollar sign Andrew Caldwell. One, two, three. That is dollar sign Andrew Caldwell. One, two, three. Everybody keep asking me why I never post my cash app. I said because I don't think people would. I, I don't think people want, want don't want me blessed. Um. People don't want me um, to get anything. Or some people um, feel like I'm already blessed. Why should I give? Because when people give to me, I use it to the homeless people. I save it and I put it in a certain bank account. You can call the IRS all you want. Because if they go back and ask, I'm going to say, this is how much this is in a, an account for the homeless. It's going to say homeless account. And it's going to say I never took money out. Only certain money. And I have receipts to back it up. And I keep my receipts in a box. So, my cash shop is dollar sign Andrew Caldwell 
one, two, three. If you decide to sow a seed in my life or to sow a seed with the homeless, this week, everybody say this week. This week is giving back week. I will be giving back to the homeless um, and I will be going live. A lot of people say, Andrew, put your phone down. No, you guys need to see when I give. So you will give to your local people. You will give to the homeless where you at. I have seen so many saints walk past a homeless person, won't even talk, won't even speak, won't even pray for them. No, that is not what we do. You give and you pray for them. You witness to them. Just like somebody else witnessed to you when you wasn't saved. I love you guys and God bless you. Look at these cash outs coming through. Oh my gosh. God bless you. God bless you. I love you guys. I love you and pray for me. So God will continue to use me. And just know this is the season that God is exposing people who should not be in his church and who should not be around his people. I love you guys and watch your surroundings. Watch who you tell your business to. Watch who's saying I'm praying for you and watch who's saying I love you. Watch them very closely. And if you can't watch them so closely, ask God to give you a gift or ask God to send you a dream so he can expose them in the dream. I love you guys. And blessings to you. Yes, blessings to you. Everybody saying wipe your mouth. I know I need to start carrying me a towel. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you, guys. God bless you. God bless you. And if you don't send me no, I'm still going to be blessed. <laughs> still. God bless you. <laughs>